a role that rarely gets used and probably should be used a lot more, it's the Anchorman. The Anchorman is probably one of the most underused roles in the game. It's one I absolutely love. Referred to as the Water Carrier, that's an Eric Cantona thing for those of a certain age. He sits in the hole between defence and midfield, intercepting moves rather than seeking the ball out to make tackles. That's probably the most key point here. So what they're saying is he won't actively seek out the ball and run around everywhere. He'll kind of maintain his position here and intercept moves, holding his position. And for that reason, you won't find him high up the pitch either. Now for this reason, unless you're playing really defensively, the guy next to him, you probably want him moving a little further forward because otherwise you're both going to be stuck there and there's going to be a big gap in between your midfield and your more attacking options. So a good one to use possibly would be a Segundo Volante so he'll get a bit further forward or even one of the playmaker roles like Roaming Playmaker or Register. That way you're going to be safe in the knowledge that he's going to kind of hold this position in there and this guy can just go that little bit further forward supporting the attacks into match we go now in the anchor position for this game i'm playing benjamin pavard now he's a center back who can also play defensive midfield and that's probably an ideal kind of player that you want we're going to watch his movement in an attacking sense here what you'll find for me anchorman is when he gets the ball like that it's a pretty simple ball he'll take on he won't do the risky pass now next to him is hakan who's the defensive midfielder and you can see how much more advanced he is he's playing as a segundo volante pavard's playing as an anchorman but just watch his period of play. Every time he gets the ball, he's there to offer an easy pass. Off the centre-backs or the full-backs. Here's Bastoni. You can see Pavard just there. Takes it. And now you think, could that be a risky pass down the line or a through ball potentially to one of those four up front? And this is what you're going to have to bear in mind. If you use an ant command, he's going to play a safer, safer ball like that retaining possession just doing little simple six yard five yard passes allowing everyone else to do the attacking work you can see up there we've got six players and then you've got your two center backs and your shield in front of them which is the anchorman he just sits back and lets everyone else get on with it so the anchorman plays a safety first style and you'll notice that in the pass completion percentages very very high all the time because he doesn't go for the risky passes so what about defensively he's more likely to wait for the opposition to come to him so they come into his zone and then he will try and intercept such as there where he goes for the header doesn't win it and then bonaventura is going to come in his zone and he takes it off him so he doesn't go seeking the ball but if they come in his zone he'll go for it this halftime heat map will show you where he kind of sits you can see he's a lot deeper than his defensive midfield partner sitting in front of the back two so in attack or defense situations, he's going to be confined to this sort of area here. He's not going to stray too far away from it looking for the ball. It's a good safe option. You can see that here after about 90 minutes of this match now. He's 59 passes at 96%. So not the most aggressive role, both in defending and attacking actually. But if you're looking to lock a game down, perhaps building a possession-based formation, that could be the role for you. That's emphasized when you look at the key attributes for the anchor man. We've selected it there and you can see... Things like passing, technique and vision, not necessarily required. Same with work rate because he's not going to cover a lot of ground. He's going to stay in that sort of area. So concentration, decisions and positioning are higher up in the skill than more creative and more stamina based attributes. If you don't feel like building a tactic around that, totally understandable. But I would consider bringing it in when you're trying to seal a game.